Dwayne Duprong, go ahead. Hey, uh, buddy, I wanted to ask you about uh, Lucas Gilbert. Uh, his first year has been a year of kind of you know, peaks and valleys. Uh, his major league debut, first pitch, gives up the homer. Then he settles down and he has a great run, you know, the 17 straight outings uh, without, you know, scoreless outings. And then he gives up the home run Sunday to, uh, to Muncie to end that. What have you seen from Lucas this year that, that uh, indicates to you that, uh, you know, he can, you know, bounce back and, and uh, you know, finish out this season strongly, start another scoreless streak and kind of carry that over into uh, to next season? Yeah, so that's a good question. And it's something that I've talked about a lot. Uh, but I think a, a broader perspective of, of where Lucas has been and where he is now is, I think, uh, you know, criti critical to understand. In 2019, uh, he was in Lancaster, California, in the Cal League as a starting pitcher. Uh, up until this year, that was the last he pitched competitively in a ball as a starter, never relieved before in his life. 2020 comes, or the, the, the fall of 19, uh, you know, leading into, you know, 2020, uh, you know, we decide to make him a reliever, uh, and then the season gets canceled. So he doesn't pitch, doesn't pitch in 2020. He goes to the Instructional League and, you know, throws as a reliever for the very first time, but Instructional League is very short period of time, weeks, uh, comes to spring training and, you know, makes our team uh, as, a, as a major league relief pitcher for a guy that's last pitched in A-ball and has never relieved before in his life. So uh, it's a big jump. But what we like is his stuff and his talent. Uh, you know, it's a live fastball. I, I do think there's going to be a little bit more velocity in there moving forward. Uh, you know, good breaking ball that is, uh, you know, such where I think there's a swing and miss in there. Uh, it's sharp. It has good spin. Uh, a developing little split finger change that uh, he, he's used, in, you know, the last couple of weeks with some frequency. So the stuff is there. Uh, I think he's built the right way mentally. He's got a good, he's sharp. Uh, the aptitude's there to learn. Uh, he's been a sponge. You know, 40 innings or so, or, you know, 35 to 40 innings of major league pitching is not a lot, but he's shown enough, I think, poise and uh, growth that we can feel good about his future uh, and, and, and about the guy uh, as, a, as a player, uh, head on his shoulders, uh, all those things that will, uh, you know, equate to a good successful career. I think they're in there. And so, uh, again, does he have some things to tighten up? Sure. The walk rate's too high. You know, the ball strike ratio overall this season is, you know, if you add them all up, not, you know, there's improvement there. Um, you know, consistency to, you know, his pitches. I mean, all, all the things you look for improvement, but the, the foundation has been laid. And I think it's a pretty sturdy one uh, for him to continue. To, you know, I think the future is pretty bright for him. Great. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, guys. Thanks. I'm going to get on the field. All right. Thanks, buddy. Thank you, everyone. We'll talk to you after the game.